welcome students i am sudevi your maths teacher hope you understood all the topics dealt in the previous classes be up to date with your notes and studies and be prepared for the forthcoming exams let us start today's session today's topic is prices related to an item or buying and selling students you are aware of what are the terms related to buying and selling things let us see the important terms the first term is profit what is profit when selling price is more than cost price we have a profit selling price is the price at which we sell a product and cost price is the price at which we buy a product so when selling price is more than cost price we have a profit students we are learning about percentage in this chapter so let us see what is profit percentage here we have the formula for profit percentage what is the formula profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into 100 repeat after me profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into 100 now let us see how can you calculate selling price if profit percentage and cost price is given selling price is equal to 100 plus profit percentage into cost price selling price is equal to 100 plus profit percentage into 100 students this formula is same as the formula which you learned for percentage increase you learned how to find the increased amount isn't it so this is the same as increase percentage because profit is a term really related to increase profit is a term related to increase now let's see what about loss now these are the terms related to loss when will you suffer from loss when cost price is greater than selling price when cost price is greater than selling price we suffer a loss now what is loss percentage loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100 students take care of one thing even if you find profit percentage or loss percentage your denominator is same denominator is same that is cost price so what is loss percentage loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100 now let's see how to find selling price selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percentage into cost price here this formula is same as that of decrease percentage because loss is considered to be a decreased quantity now let's see some questions related to this topic first question tell what is the profit or loss in the following transactions also find profit percent or loss percent in each case the first case is gardening shears bought for rupees 250 and sold for rupees 325 in this case bought for rupees 250 that means cost price is 250 and sold for rupees 325 that is your selling price so cost price is 250 selling price is 325 students now tell me what will you suffer from will it a 
profit or a loss. Here, cost price is less than selling price. Cost price is less than selling price. So, you will have a profit. Let's see what is the profit. Profit is selling price minus cost price. So, 325 minus 250. Your profit is rupees 75. You have to calculate profit percentage also. Let's see how to calculate profit percentage. Formula 4 profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into 100. Let's substitute the values here. After substituting the values, you will get 75 by 250 into 100. After calculating, you will get the final answer as 30 percentage. That means profit is 75 and profit percentage is 30 percentage. Let's move on to the second question. A skirt bought for rupees 250 and sold at rupees 150. So here cost price is rupees 250 and selling price is rupees 150. Children, tell, will you suffer from a loss? Yes, because selling price is less than cost price. Selling price is less than cost price. So, you will suffer a loss. So, let us calculate the loss. Here, the loss is cost price minus selling price, 250 minus 150 and the answer is rupees 100. Now you are going to calculate loss percentage. The formula for loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100. Now let's substitute the values. After substituting the values, you will get 100 by 250 into 100. Loss is 100. Cost price is 250 and this 100. So 100 by 250 into 100. It's equal to 40 percentage. So in this question, the loss is rupees 100. Loss percentage is 40 percentage. Let's move on to the next question. I buy a TV for rupees 10,000. And sell it at a profit of 20 percentage. How much money do I get for it? Students, here I buy a TV for rupees 10,000. Cost price is rupees 10,000. And sell it at a profit of 20 percentage. What is given to you? Profit percentage is given to you. And what is your question? How much money do I get for it? So, you should find the selling price. I taught you the formula for finding the selling price when profit percentage and cost price is given. Let's see the formula first. Here, the formula is 100 plus profit percentage into cost price. Okay, so... How will you substitute 100 plus 20 percentage into 10,000? Let's see. Now, I have substituted the values. 100 plus, what is profit percentage? 20. 20 percentage into cost to prices, 10,000. So, what is 100 plus 20? 120. 120 percentage into 10,000. Tell me students, what is 120 percentage meaning? 120 percentage means 120 by 100. 120 percentage means 120 by 100 into 10,000. Cancel the common zeros and at last you will get the final answer as 
rupees 12000 that means i bought the tv for rupees 10000 and i sold the tv for rupees 12000 hope you understood the way of substitution and the formula let's move on to the next question amina buys a book for rupees 275 and sells it at a loss of 15 percentage how much does she sell it for students amina buys a book for rupees 275 buys that means it is the cost price so cp is equal to rupees 275 and sells it at a loss of 15 percentage that means loss percentage is equal to 15 percentage how much does she sell it for so you have to find the selling price of the book let's see the steps i have written the information given to you in the question cost price is equal to 275 Loss percentage is given as 15 percentage. Selling price is the formula. Selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percentage into CP. Now let's substitute the values given to you. After substituting, you will get 100 minus 15 percentage into 275. Because loss percentage is given as 15 percentage and cost price is given as 275. What is 100 minus 15? 100 minus 15 is equal to 85 percentage. Okay children, do you remember what is 85 percentage? 85 by 100. After substituting the values, 85 by 100 into 275 is equal to rupees 233.75. Hope you understood the method of applying this formula. Selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percentage into cost price. Students, the next question is of a little twist is there. Let's read the question. Juhi sells a washing machine for rupees 13,500. She loses 20 percentage in the bargain. What was the price at which she bought it? Students, I told you before, this question is a little bit twisted. Juhi sells a washing machine for rupees 13,500. Sells. So, the selling price is given to you. She loses 20% in the bargain. That means she suffered a loss of 20%. What was the price at which she bought it? At which she bought. bought. So, here you have to find the cost price. Let's see how you are going to find the cost price. Students, Listen here, I have written the data given in your question. Selling price is equal to rupees 13,500. Loss percentage is given as 20 percentage. You have to find the cost price. The same formula which you used in the previous questions, you will use here. Look here children, I have substituted the values. Selling price is equal to 13,500. 100 minus loss. Loss is given as 20 percentage into cost price. I have written CP because I don't know what's the value of cost price. Now, what is 100 minus 20? 80. 80 percentage means 80 by 100. So, we will get 13,500 is equal to 80 by 100 into cost price. Take this 100 to the left side and this 80 to the left side. How will you take? Here 
100 is divided. So when you take to the other side, it becomes into 100. Here 80 is multiplied. So when you take to the other side, it becomes division. So what is the method here? 13,500 into 100, the whole divided by 80. It's equal to cost price. You will get the answer as rupees 16,875. After calculation, you will get the answer as rupees 16,875. By this, we come to an end of our topic profit and loss. Tomorrow, we will discuss about simple interest. Students, if you have any doubt, please contact me in my private number. I will clear your doubts. Thank you. Have a nice day.